Hello, I'm Elaine Merle. I'm a uh, pediatric epileptologist at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, and I wanted to talk a little bit about neonatal seizures today. So neonatal seizures are one of the most common neurological problems that we see in babies, and they affect about one in 200 babies who are born at term and are even more common in preterm babies. Um, a lot of people wonder what a neonatal seizure is, and it basically is an abnormal electrical discharge from a group of, of uh, cells within the brain. And uh, oftentimes that goes along with a clinical change in the baby, and so what might happen is the baby may have some uh, rhythmical twitching of one arm or one leg or one side of the face. Um, sometimes there can be a very brief um, cessation in breathing, something that we call apnea. Um, sometimes there can be sustained eye deviation off to one side, but um, frequently the baby will show some clinical changes uh, that go along with that abnormal discharge that we can see on a test called an EEG. It can be really difficult, however, because babies can show other types of movements which, um, which can be oftentimes confused with seizures. So in order to really make the diagnosis, it's important that an EEG be done. And it's very, very helpful to capture that abnormal movement and make sure that it actually has um, correlate on the EEG with seizure activity. So there's lots of different causes for neonatal seizures, um, and what's different in, in neonates um, or babies who have seizures as opposed to older children is frequently in older children we don't find a cause. In um, babies who have seizures, usually there is a cause that we can identify. And um, probably the most common cause that we see is a condition called neonatal encephalopathy. And that's a condition that um, uh, just before uh, labor and delivery or during labor and delivery, um, there is um, some disruption of blood flow or decreased oxygen delivery to the baby's brain, and that results in seizures. And in addition to having seizures, those babies often uh, will have other signs, and those signs can be poor feeding, the babies can be more sleepy than usual, uh, the babies can sometimes be more irritable than usual, but that whole process tends to settle down in the first 48 to 72 hours um, uh, after birth, and, and um, uh, the seizures usually settle down at that time as well. Um, there are different severities of neonatal encephalopathy. Um, uh, some babies have just a very mild um, uh, degree of encephalopathy, whereas others have a more severe degree of encephalopathy. Um, other causes of neonatal seizures that we, um, we look for include strokes or bleeding, and many people are surprised to hear that, that little babies can have strokes, but that's actually a pretty high risk time um, uh, uh, for strokes is in the in newborn period. It's the highest risk during uh, the pediatric uh, uh, period, and so that can certainly result in, in seizures as well. Um, other things that we think about are infection. It's important to rule out the possibility of meningitis or encephalitis, particularly um, if there's been any fever um, uh, during the uh, labor and delivery, um, uh, or if there's been what we call a prolonged rupture of membranes. Um, other things we think about are metabolic disorders, um, including things like low blood sugar, um, uh, abnormal um, sodium or salt levels, or disorders in how the baby uh, breaks down protein or sugar or fat. Those are all important things to look at. And then um, uh, less common causes would include structural brain abnormalities um, in a little baby, or r very rarely there are some genetic disorders that can be uh, inherited um, and can cause seizures in the newborn period. So um, when we see a little baby with seizures, the first thing that, is, that we need to do is confirm, in fact, that these are seizures. And so the test that is usually done there would be an EEG. And the EEG would uh, look for any abnormal electrical discharge in the brain and would look to see if, um, if uh, the abnormal movements that are concerning for seizures are, in fact, correlated with seizure activity on the EEG to confirm that diagnosis. And then once the, um, the EEG has confirmed the diagnosis, uh, usually the baby uh, would go through some, a, a test to actually uh, look at the brain structurally, and most often that's done by an MRI test. And then there's other blood work that we would do as well, looking for infection or metabolic disorders. Um, as far as treatment goes, we think it's really important to stop the neonatal seizures, and so uh, the treatment is generally with anti-seizure medicines, um, and a number of different anti-seizure medicines have been used. Uh, people have used um, a class of drugs called benzodiazepines, so Ativan or Midazolam 
or uh, diazepam. Um, other people have used phenobarbital or Keppra. So there's a number of different uh, types of anti-seizure medicines that can be used. And frequently in, in little babies, particularly those with neonatal encephalopathy, sometimes the seizure medicines are only needed for um, the first uh, a few days or the first week. Um, and depending on what the cause is, they can often be stopped by the time the baby is actually discharged from um, the intensive care unit. Um, sometimes the medicines need to be used longer term, and that's again depending on the cause, so it would be important to talk to your doctor about that. Looking at the long-term outcome, um, uh, the uh, long-term outcome of babies with seizures really very much depends on what the underlying cause of those seizures uh, is. Uh, for the most common uh, cause, the neonatal encephalopathy, the babies who have a milder degree of, of encephalopathy who recover very quickly usually do very well in the long term, and many of those babies have no problems long term. Um, other uh, causes that can be associated with a very favorable outcome would include a condition called subarachnoid hemorrhage that often occurs in the term baby, and those babies do very, very well in the long term as well. Other causes can be um, associated with a greater worry for long-term uh, problems such as learning problems, um, uh, motor problems such as cerebral palsy, or um, potentially epilepsy down the road. So it's really important for a baby who's had um, seizures in the newborn period to be really carefully followed by their pediatrician or their child neurologist. Um, and if there's any concerns that, that arise, um, that needs to be discussed with your doctor. Thanks.